hello everyone today i will tell you the vertebral artery the vertebral artery is one of the principal arteries which supply the brain it is first and largest branch of the first part of subclavian artery the vertebral artery arises from the upper aspect of the first part of subclavian artery run vertically upward to enter the foramen transversarium of the transverse process of c6 then it passes through the foramen transverse area of the upper six cervical vertebrae after emerging from the foramen transverse area of c1 it winds backward around the lateral masses of the atlas and into the cranial cavity like this okay through the foramen magnum in the cranial cavity it unite with the vertebral artery of the opposite side at the lower border of the pons to form the basilar artery this is the right vertebral artery and this is the left art vertebral artery both artery unite to each other in the cranial cavity form the basilar artery it has four part first part or you can say cervical part it extend from the first part of the subclavian artery to the c6 vertebra okay this part lies in the scleno vertebral triangle the second part of the vertebral artery is also called the vertebral part second part of the vertebral artery extend from the c6 to the c1 okay this is the second part of the vertebral artery and third part extend from the c1 vertebra to the foramen magnum okay foramen magnum of the skull this part lies within the sub occipital triangle and fourth part or you can say intracranial part extend from the foramen magnum to the lower border of the pons so these are the parts of the vertebral artery in the cranial cavity it gives five branches the meningeal branches posterior spinal artery anterior spinal artery and the posterior inferior cerebellar artery and the medullary artery but in the neck region it gives two branches spinal branches and the muscular branches thank you